video I absolutely hate to make. As you see by thumbnail, it's true. Someone's attempted to steal my baby. Obviously, I'm absolutely shattered, you know. There is damage, nothing crazy, and it looks like they couldn't move it because obviously I put a shit ton into securing the thing. I have a tracker and a mobilizer and alarm and a club lock for this exact reason. So even if they did take it, I would find it. And I would find you if you're watching this by an off chance. And it was a dark skinned man in a white new high -ass. Look, these cars are known to be stolen. They're one of the most stolen cars in the entire world. And I knew that, but let's just take a look. So obviously we can see their hand mark. And then up here, it looks like they've tried to get through the window because it's chipped. And then obviously if we come in, oh, this pains me. Just look at all that. Just, you know, everywhere. Holy shit. I cut to the steering wheel or something and like it's, I don't know what they've done here. Maybe an angle grinder. So it's just shit everywhere. Here's the uh, remaining stuff. And then you come down and like, just look at that. Yeah, so it's munted. Yeah, that's about as munted as it gets, to be honest. So they've probably stuck a screwdriver in there or something. So it's just shit everywhere. You know, I had some money in the center console, WX book, phone charger, all gone, but they didn't steal the head unit, surprisingly. There's a club lock they've tried to remove. But yeah, absolute shame, world we live in, you know? I really love this car, as you guys know. I, I love it, and it's one of the cleaner examples. I don't think it's gonna get written off for anything, hopefully, but you know, it's just sad as it comes to this. They didn't take the number plates. They haven't tried taking any stuff off. Like, if I was still in a car, you know, this, this thing would be gone. You know, I'd just rip it off. Even the number plates, anything. Like, they haven't touched it really, which is so strange. But yeah, but they've uh, gotten under it, right? And you can see they've absolutely destroyed this battery terminal. And yeah, like, cannot believe it. But other than that, I don't, I'm surprised I didn't just rip shit. We are just like thinking, hmm, I can't get into the car, I might as well start destroying stuff. But yeah, just a real shame, you know, really big shame. Like there's just little scratches around the car where it's like just not giving a shit. You can't really see it on camera, but yeah. It's a shame this has happened, guys. Obviously we got the uh, Fairmont here on its new wheels, looking clean. But the, another thing, if you do try and stick the key in it, you know, it won't move. It'll try and start, but nothing on the dash. And you know, the battery is connected and the battery is charged. Fucked it. Fully fucked it, you know? It's a real shame. The car is insured, luckily. And it's, um, everything's legit. You know, I'm with Shannon, so there's no mess around. I've called the police. I've taken heaps of photos. You know, we're in the next stages now. Shannon's will cover it. Some really long time viewers will know that I've had an incident with insurance before where the rear end got damaged by some winds. So the second time I've done an insurance job in the last year on this car. It's just absolutely ridiculous, this poor thing. I just stopped the registration for it as well to park up for a year because I literally cannot afford to re-register it. And it just doesn't end, it just doesn't end. It looks like this thing's gonna get some more loving. And you know, maybe a WX video is in the making, but. Anyway guys, hope you enjoy the video.